everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today we'll be making a popular Moroccan soup called Herrera and it we normally make it in the winter or during Ramadan so I hope you enjoy the things we'll need is one large uh, white onion chopped and peeled three uh, regular sized tomatoes shredded without the skin half a cup of parsley and half a cup of cilantro and we're going to need one medium one normal sized can of chickpeas ha uh two thirds cup of lentils and half a cup of this pasta it's small it's called fellaini two tablespoons of tomato paste we're going to need one tablespoon of ginger turmeric parsley and salt and then we're going to need two pinches of cinnamon two large pinches of cinnamon and half a tablespoon of black pepper and don't forget the olive oil and if you have you can use it but if you don't it's fine it's called ghee it's a type of butter so now we have our pot too it's a it's a big pot it's a normal big pot and in that pot we'll we're gonna we're gonna put in two two um two big like a two big tablespoons of olive oil just enough to cover the bottom and the heat's on low medium medium low so remember that we're gonna put the olive oil just enough to cover the bottom Next, we're going to add the onions. Most, most of the parsley and the cilantro, just leaving enough for later, leaving just a little bit for later, but most of it, and with the onion and the olive oil. So we're going to stir that just to incorporate it. Next, we're going to add the shredded tomato. And we're going to add just a little bit the spices. And then we're going to add all the spices. And next, we're going to add just a little bit of the of hot water, like boiling hot water that we boiled earlier just a little bit to in to um help mix the spices and everything together so just a little bit we're gonna stir that all together incorporating all the spices making sure everything's stirred into it well Next, we're going to add a uh, half a tablespoon of ghee. If you have it, it's fine. If you don't, it's also fine. We're just going to add ghee because it gives it just a little bit more flavor we like. And we're just going to stir that and let that cook. Next, we're going to grab half a cup of flour, half a cup to two-thirds, and we're going to add water into it. And we're going to stir that around a little bit until it becomes sort of like a paste or a little bit liquidier than that. Make sure its consistency is a little bit runny and not too thick. Here we have the, the chicken, the, um, the flour and water paste. Next, we're going to add... Just some of the cilantro to it, the one we saved, and the rest of the parsley. Next, we're going to add the tomato paste. And 
and incorporate all of that into it. We're only going to add like a tablespoon or a teaspoon of the tomato paste, only half of it. And we're going to stir that up real, real good. Make sure there's no lumps of tomato paste in it. And as we check back in on the little things we have in the pot, it should be steaming. And we're going to add the lentils to it. I'm going to incorporate, make sure all the lentils are coated. So we're going to stir everything in there. Then we're going to add more of that boiling water. We're going to add it about about halfway or two or three fourths filling to the pot, making sure it's not overflowing, but putting a lot of hot water into it since it's a soup. We're going to stir all of that. You can see all the lentils, and it's very, very runny and thin. Next, we're just going to cover that and let it cook, bringing it to a boil. We brought it to a boil, and next, we're going to stir it. You can see that it's bubbling, and there's a lot of steam coming out of it. Yeah, next we're going to stir it, making sure none of the lentils are sticking to the pot. Next, we're going to add the flour mixture that we made earlier. You can see that it's gotten a lot redder since we started, but it's good. That's what adds its color and a lot of the thickness of the soup. So we're going to pour that in slowly into the soup and stirring and stirring it, incorporating it into the soup. Next, we have the tomato paste and some of the water and then cilantro in here. We're just adding that into it, making sure the tomato paste isn't going to stick to anything. This is to make the soup richer in color and richer in flavor. We've added all the cilantro in and all the parsley in now. We've added all of the tomato paste in. And now we're just going to stir it, leaving it on medium heat. And now that you can see it has, it's bubbling. It's very bubbly. It's boiling. It's steaming over. We're just stirring it, making sure it's good and nothing stuck to the bottom of it just gonna see if the lentils are fully cooked to tell if the lentils are fully cooked you can take one out and squish it between your hand and the spoon and if it is fully cooked it will squish easily and easily and may and won't take any effort next we're just gonna cap it and make sure it's it's becoming thick we checked on it again and it became hotter and it was bubbly and boiling we're just making sure it's cooked thoroughly so we keep stirring it and leaving it on heat leaving it on the heat next we're gonna add the chickpeas all of them and we're gonna add the pasta to it a chick we add these last because they cooked fast and that's it that's it up for you